show it up. You put one really close to the it went up and one close to the other end. Oh. Sometimes it's not so easy to get started. It's getting short on screws. I must be getting close to being done. So I know I have the cowl mounted. Um, I have to do the hmm, I have to do the motor mount next. I got a little more cutting on that. I cut cut the motor down just a motor mount down just a bit. We'll mount it on the front, and then put the cow on, and I'm hoping for tomorrow, maybe. There we go. Tires are mounted. Well, the tires aren't mounted, but we'll glue the washers on right now. Oh, really? washer fits very tight. But we set and glue a washer. I mean you could use epoxy, you could use gorilla glue. I have to use CA. Right? Now you see here. I'm gonna put the washer back here. That's gonna stop my tires from running any further back. Right? I surely want to get that on there before I've got my tires close to being on. Now those two glued in place, they won't let the tires go any further. Okay, one of the glue sets. I set the wing over here. We're going to bring this back. And it's ready to go. You see? I got the four holes drilled in the front. I think I'm going to make a big mess on here, I tell you that. Because I'm thinking, I'm hoping to be able to mount my LiPo batteries in here from the front. So I don't have to take the airplane apart to put the batteries in and out of it. See, that's always something you have to think about. And they have this nice red trim on the body, right? On the black. But they don't have the red trim on the wing. So I think I have to get some red. Because I like the red trim on this. I have to get some red pinstriping. And finish that. I don't know why they did the body, but they didn't do the rest of the airplane. That's sort of strange. This is a nice fiberglass fuselage, but holy moly. They could have done a little more work to it to help us out. Here I go. The motor mount mounted here. Now, there's no marks or nothing on here to mount this. So, I believe I'll have to go by eye here and try and get this to be as close to centered. I guess you can't see what I'm doing, can you? I'm standing over top of it. looking down trying to determine where it would best be centered okay so it looks like wow is that ever how about there okay so I'll take that reach over here oh can't find it when you need it eh okay I'm going to find my hand drill and I'm going to put marks in here. 
so that I can drill holes and mount this. Okay, so after I get this all lined up here, I'm going to mount this, and then we'll get the cowl on, and we'll have a peek at it. Well, I guess I got carried away. I forgot to videotape some. Oh well. Here I am now, i got the motor mount mounted. Okay. I'm going to use some Velcro and zip ties. I'm mounting the 60 amp ESC up here to the front. I'm going to put some zip ties on here. And zip tie the wires down. And then we can put the cowl on. I have the motor mounted in here. Everything seems to be good so far. Okay. Didn't show all what I should have shown. I already checked to make sure these connections are right so this prop spun the right way. And I tell you, I'm using this here GF3 series master air screw. I think it's a 9.6. Holy moly. I got some 9.9s and some 9.10s coming. Some real fast propellers to fly this plane, but for now, I think I'll use this 9.6. Looks like it's going to have a lot of get up and go. We'll put one more zap strap here. Get the top wires of the ESC. I really don't want this stuff coming loose when I'm flying. That would not be for very much fun. So, even though we got velcro in, still gonna hold it in a couple places with the zap straps. Cut off the extra pieces here. There we go. Okay, so as you see, I got a big aluminum motor mount on there. Got that 1400 kV motor in there. 60 amp ESC on the side here. Okay. Inside, now you see, I haven't put my batteries anywhere yet, or even built a spot to put the batteries. Because I'm going to have to figure out where the CAG is. And I do plan to use these. They will fit inside here. But I was thinking of cutting holes in the side here. Or maybe, eh, see the motor mounts in the way there. The top has room. Jeez, if I was only using one, it'd be nice. But I think I'm going to have to put them both inside here. But I'll have to take the wing off to do that. That'd be okay, I guess. Now, I chipped my cowl. Oh, no. Oh, well, we'll get that on. we get this here. You see, I do have the receiver in here. I gotta turn it on yet. And we'll get the servos all centered up. Get the control rods tightened on. And darn. Without pants, I guess it's ready to fly tomorrow. We'll be ready to put the first flight up tomorrow. But I'll do a test here tonight. I'll still do a test tonight and have another video of um, the watt meter. Handy tuning tool, the watt meter. We'll see what type of power I'm making. If a 60 amp ESC is enough, and if my 30 C 5000 milliamp batteries have got enough to make it go. But I'm feeling, just when I was checking the speed of this, man, oh man, this master air screw prop, this thing is pulls hard. I think this airplane is going to go straight up and then go straight up faster. Should be fun. But we'll get these videos online and I'll be back to finish this up.